Next topic which I want to discuss here would relate to teaching physical exercise. So before, if we think about how Dr. Buteyk and his colleagues were teaching a briefing retraining and combined with physical exercise, like what people should do in the area of physical exercise, now certain ideas very important, definitely central ideas like that healthy people should have, according to Buteyk, up to four or five hours of uh, ex physical exercise every day in order to maintain really good health. And that was one of the kind of criteria ideas which can be found in Soviet sources. Another source, would, another idea would relate to uh, when people are able to start more intensive exercise, like, uh, uh, for example, jogging. And Dr. Buteyk and his colleagues developed that idea that CP20, breath holding time, like 20 seconds for the oxygen test is a criteria, like the threshold. And when people go above 20 seconds, we're able to start running and breathe 100% through the nose. And this idea is known to practitioners, but there are many specific nuances and details, additional details, which relates to CP 10 seconds and CP 30, 40 seconds, where also people are able to make certain additional changes, certain adjustments in the physical exercise, how we do it, how we exercise, and have better results. So another effect of physical exercise that actually uh, many of my students happened already a long time ago. We started to ask, I do, we, to, for example, today I did a lot of exercise. I measured my CP after two, three, even four, five hours of like two hours of going into a gym. And my CP is low. Like, what is the problem? And uh, I discovered that actually when people do more physical exercise on a particular day, it's next morning CP, the most important factor of health, that's going to be improved. Not immediate CP. Not the CP, which you can measure even a few hours after exercise, because after long exercise it takes long time to recover. So that's therefore what happens here. I developed a different, several, three or four uh, briefing exercise charts, as, as I call them, where I connect briefing with physical exercise depending on the zone, which people, which symptoms of um, how we can exercise, how we can in increase intensity of exercise, 